yeah, so we're still looking actually at motorhomes. It is a disease. To take it from me, it's a disease. Um, but anyway, um, it is curable if you can find the right motor home. Uh, so we've just literally come to Highbridge at Highbridge today. And uh, just because we haven't been up here for a while, and we thought we'd just come up and take a little look around, see if there's anything that took our fancy. So anyway, um, we have actually come into this Heimer Excess and uh, we thought, yeah, we'll just take a little look at that so we could see in through the windscreen. And I'm just gonna flick the camera around a minute. And looking back up through the motorhome, it's actually got the twin beds, the arrangement that we kind of like. Like, um, this is a brand new vehicle. It's uh, 22 plate, so it's been um, just booting around for a minute, and uh, so obviously it's still brand spanking new. Um, so we thought we'd just grab the keys and uh, have a little peruse. Anyway, we came in. So this is only 6.8 meter. Si sorry, 6.64 meters. So it's a little bit shorter than our the the Bursner. Um, so we thought we'd just give it the benefit of the doubt. As you can see, look, all the covers are actually still on the beds and everything. Um, it's a very, very nice motorhome. Right, I'm just going to let's swing the camera around there again. Um, the only thing for us, uh, so we walked in and straight away there is the, so it's an A-class vehicle and it's got the drop-down bed. So we don't actually use that bed so it's carrying all that weight around for absolutely nothing um, and if you're not going to use it there's no point in having it up there uh, the other thing that I'm not kind of used to is the step down there so when you walk in I'm used to sort of like not having a step and you it's just one of those little silly things I suppose but um, um, I kind of like that flat floor um, in that area I, I will be tripping over it forever but um, but as we got, it's a very, very nice vehicle. I'm actually, um, I haven't actually got my camera equipment today. I wasn't gonna be, I'm, I'm supposed to be just having a day. Carol, I said, promise Caroline a day off today. But uh, I got here and I'm like, well, let's just um, show you guys what it's all about. So at the end of the day, the Heimer quality, look at, look at the, uh, fi you know, the finish in here. It's so nice. Ooh, give that a tug. But um, yeah, it's built, you know what I mean? You can give it a bit of a, a yank in and it seems to um, take a bit of, uh, bit of stick. But um, yeah, quality bit of kit. If I can open the cup, so I can't even open the cupboard off, but uh, we won't get too involved with that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we literally, yeah, came in and then it was kind of like, um, now nah, it's a little, it's what you get used to. Absolutely what you get used to, innit? Got a vent up there, look. Um, but um, yeah, the A-Class vehicle, lovely little uh, dinette here, look, little L-shape. We've got TV up on the side there. Um, and the vision is just absolutely incredible. There's the vision looking out. I'm going to have a look in the garage, actually, in a minute. And this, this is actually on a Fiat um based vehicle so the and it's got a i did look in through and saw it's got the new nine speed auto uh transmission which is attractive um but it's not all you know at the end of the day it's got to be for people like us it's got to be bang on dead right the drawer system in the kitchen is pretty impressive it's got these like really nice big drawers all the way down through that so that's really impressive and uh you know, we got our little uh, three burner as per and a lovely little sink. Um, plenty of cupboard space up the top. But um, yeah, we were just saying, like I say, with, with this drop down bed, um, it's that isn't for us. We uh, wouldn't make use of it. A lot of weight for nothing. And there's a lot of space where you could have like cupboard system up there. So I'm going to take the keys back. We'll, we'll have a quick look in the garage before we disappear. Let's have a look in the back. This has got the um, extra deadlock system on it as well, um, which I've just found out. 
and uh, yeah it's really nicely secured up with that look and little waste bin on the door look that's really nice quality that's better than our one in the person i think it feels quite nice yeah. they do get broken um and uh, yeah, a little extension for the uh, work surface in the kitchen, little magazine rack down there. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's an actual uh, TV up on the side there, all fitted in. But um, very, very nice. And the uh, upholstery is nice quality. Seats all still covered in plastic, which is beautiful. And I like the idea, you know, this is like 100 and, 117, 118 grand, and it's nice to see it being kept in top condition for whoever's uh, going to have it. And it's a absolute sun in motor home. Let's have a look in the back. Yeah, we're just saying actually, it's going back to these kind of toggly styles. Um, which uh, we don't use, we don't use this style with the Burstner, but uh, they seem okay. It feels nice. There's a double seal on there, look, actually. Yeah. So they've got the double seal, and it's yeah. the garage is lined out really nice. nice. Let's look at the, yeah. look at the garage. It's got a bit of uh, this felting down the bottom. Let's have a look. It's got like a spongy kind of over floor there. Look, it's got a spare wheel in the back. Holy cow! Um, that's a uh, that's a bonus. That is a bonus. Um, but um, carpets, carpets, and then there's the box of goodies in the back. Look, there's all the remote control for the television. Um, you've got some bits and pieces there. Get triangle by the looks of it, or is that a bulb kit down there? I'm not going to, but um, you, all the stuff is in there. Like you've got the little, um, they've got little tiny filters look for the drains, which is quite good. Stop the clog up of hair and stuff like that in your drains by the look of it. Um, yeah, very, very nice. What's we got here? Wheel chocks, we'll just have a little look. This could be a bulb set actually. I don't, I don't like um, looking for it too much. We'll just check what's in there. A warding triangle, look. So you got all your nice little bits and pieces in the back. There are some nice plugs as well, look. This is always nice. Yeah. Plugs, anchor points for your push bikes or your chairs stuff like that some nice little racks here and they got nice rubber matting on the floor so all in all and the ceiling of this is really nice there's a little tiny led lamp up the top there but um all very nice it's got a tule awning on it so that looks like probably the winding handle in that uh, cardboard box underneath the mats Four seven four. 